What time is it? Well, it's time for a talk show like you've never seen before. My name is Ntube Nane, and I am here to talk to everybody about life. We will be talking about school, we'll be talking about African culture, we'll be talking about sex, marriage, relationships, friendships, we'll be talking about the things that affect us on a day-to-day -day basis and how we can better coexist as people. Um, on the show today, I have a special guest. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Can Thank you, you please, for having me. You're welcome. Can you please tell us your name and um, where you're from? So my name is Prudence Nossenbang. I'm originally from Cameroon, uh, the Northwest region. Bafanji is my village. And so I am an Anglophone. Okay, that's very nice. So I am good. from Cameroon too, from the <laughs> Southwest. I'm Bakosi, proudly so. Yeah. And um, it is good to be here. How are you doing today? Are you having I'm a good day? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's getting cold, so it's my favorite kind of weather. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing fine. Thank you. Nice. It's the winter again. So um, you did mention that you are from Bafanji. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the culture of the people from Bafanji? Yeah, so uh, Bafanji is a really small part of uh, the Northwest region. Uh, we have not really been growing since 1992 where we were burned down by a neighboring village. We had some crisis going on and it hasn't really been addressed. However, it's a very beautiful place. The people are beautiful, the people are kind, the people are nice and our soils are fertile. So it's an agricultural uh, part of the Northwest region. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, you're evidence that the people are really beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, looking at the fact that you came from Cameroon, can you talk to us a little bit about how, um, what it felt like to immigrate to an entirely different culture? Sure. So um, I've been here since 2010. A lot of things have changed since I've been here. Uh, the biggest thing I would say is there's more information out there. Mm -hmm. So before I came here, I was, I would say, young and naive. I didn't really look into things. So we were applying for schools like blindly. We didn't really know where and what the schools were about or what we could do with the certificates we got from there. I was lucky, however, that my husband was already here. I had a big family here that kind of guided my orientation to what I am doing right now. Okay, that's that's really good. Um, what can you tell our audience today, like people who are planning on moving from Cameroon or Africa in general to the U.S., what kind of advice can you give to them? I would say to do research and also to weigh their options. So I know that we come from Cameroon where there's really no employment for the youth, so there's really nothing for people to do. So m most people want to immigrate out. That's great. For those people that have nothing to do, immigrating out, is, it's, it's good. It's a good option. However, okay. I've seen and know people that had thriving businesses back home and got like a, the DV lottery and moved their families and are struggling here. So my mm -hmm. advice would be to do research before immigrating to weigh your options because mm -hmm. life overseas is difficult. You have to work really, really hard before you get comfortable. America is not like what we thought it was when we were growing up, knowing that everything was beautiful, it was a land of milk and honey. It's true. We have all these opportunities out here. My biggest advice would be come, immigrate, but be ready to work hard. There are no shortcuts. If you want to succeed in the United States, you have to be a hard worker, you have to be honest, and you have to work really, really hard, do research, and always ask questions. Okay. Um, well, you make the United States sound so good. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. But um, my question is, do you ever plan on going back home? Because I know people battle with the idea of staying here forever or going back and settling back home is that what 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 are your thoughts about that that um confusion like do i stay or do i go so for me it's it's kind of something that i've talked about with my family and we're all on the same page so i'm glad that you asked me about where i'm from because in my village in cameroon in bafanji we have one health clinic 
and the hair clinic is so so like underdeveloped like where we don't have even like hand washing sinks in the units so for me for a dream realization for me would be to go home and open a clinic I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for six years, going on seven years. I work in critical care right now. I'm hoping that with my experience that I have and with some other nurses that are willing to go back home, that we go home and establish, even if it's clinics, to where we can better serve our communities. Like I tell my patients all the time, it's like, you don't really need me because there's so many good nurses here. But in my country where I come from, we have good nurses, but we don't have the resources that we need. So I feel like me going back in 10 years, I'm praying about it, that I'm able to go back home and establish something that would better serve my village. Which is, that's, which is actually great, you know. Um, that's the whole idea. I feel like that's what we should be doing. Yes, I know there's so much instability back home in many African countries and people feel the need to leave. But um, I've always felt like we are lacking in the department of people going back and building the home because, like they say, if the builder does not build the house, mm -hmm. there's no house yes, to be built. True. So um, it's a good thing we are starting to talk about things like this because people, I feel like people need the right orientation. True. We don't just wake up go to the embassy, get the visa, and then you find yourself in a foreign country and you get hit by what the hell am I doing, right. you know? So right. I'm very happy that um, you intend to go back. And um, I hope people who are watching get to realize that, yes, the dream is to travel, but the dream is a dream. The reality is so, it's so different. different. Right. Now, um, you did mention that... Um, you are hoping to go make things better for the people of your village. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the entire Africa as a whole? Do you think there are certain things we need to do to make us a stronger and better people? I think so, yes. Because what I, what I realize, I always say in my lifetime, they say you're young, but no. I realize that in the 30-something years I've been alive, I realize that we as people... African people, we don't really trust each other. I feel like we would do better things if we trusted each other more and leaned on each other more. Say for example, I'd love to open a clinic back home, but when I sit and think about like, who's gonna be willing to do this with me? I can't really see or like point, oh, so and so and so person can do this with me. So I feel like generally, and it's something that has resonated with even my coworkers that are also Africans, they, there's not that connect. I feel like if we look at it as building a community, a stronger community together, unlike thinking about I can do this on my own. I know I can't do it on my own. I need help. Yeah. So as a community, I feel like we need to be able to ask for help and also yeah. be willing to give help if we can. Yeah. So I think a lot of education has to go, go into place. A lot of enlightenment needs to be done. A lot of a lot of like outreach because like I said my village is so poor it's really poor like we still have wells where we get water from you're drinking water you see that the water is dirty like every time I went to the village before I came home before I came here it's like the living condition there is like how do people survive yeah and we are in 2021 that should not be happening right definitely and then, yeah with the crisis it's made it worse like it set us back another 10 years right I feel like working together to better, like I know you're from the Southwest region. I know that you all have it better than some of us in the Northwest region. I should be able to come to you and be like, hey, Nene, I'll have this project that I want to do back home in my village. I want you to be open to helping me. Like even us not being from the same place, like how they call us like graphy people. I want it to be like a African thing. I want it to be like a Cameroonian thing. I want it to be like a, a humanity thing. Yeah. And so. which, which makes sense. I mean, you mentioning that we call you Graffy, you know, it's, it's funny because people get offended when people do that. But what we don't realize is Graffy is short for grass field. Now, the people from the Northwest are grass field people. But you mentioning that it's 
currently there's a crisis going on in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're not, I don't know if that's the reason why we're not moving forward, but we always find ourselves in the situations where we say, oh, this there's one is Graffi, yes. I don't, this one is Bamileke. Yeah. And um, I feel like we are sectioning out our history because it didn't used to be like that. Right. But um, then again, it's a good thing that we are starting to talk about these things because like you said, we need to look, our, look at ourselves as humans. We need to look at ourselves as Africans. We right. need to look at ourselves as black people. That's right. who we are. Right. We don't, yes, we have 55 different countries. We have different cultures, but in its entirety, we are one we people. Are people. And yes. if we start acting like that, I feel like Africa is going to develop faster than people anticipate right. because the only problem we have right now is because we're not working together. But um, I would like to thank you so much for coming on the show oh, and throwing these really brilliant ideas out there. I do hope you can come back sometime soon because to. there is so much we need to talk about. Thank you all. Please do not forget to drop your comments, share your ideas in the comment section so we can better the show. And until next time, you've been watching What Time Is It?